Hey guys, in the next few minutes I'm going to show you how to really easily download YouTube thumbnails in just a few clicks. I'm a big believer that one of the best ways to improve on YouTube is to study success and follow the clues that they leave. Now we all know that YouTube will push our video further if we A keep people watching all the way to the end and B have a great thumbnail that people click on. That's why sometimes it's useful to download bigger versions of other people's thumbnails so we can take a closer look and see if there's anything that we can learn to inspire our own video thumbnails. Quick disclaimer, do not reuse someone else's work ever. It's copyright to them, so always do the right thing. Use it as inspiration. So my name's John Davis. On my channel, I help content creators maximize their impact by leveraging tech and proven strategies. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to download a YouTube thumbnail. And this can be one of your own or someone else's. And it's quick and easy to do. So let's jump straight into it. So first of all, let's look at how you download your own thumbnails. Maybe you wanna use the same thumbnail to promote your video on social media or your blog post and you've lost the original. Here's what you need to do. So in the top right hand corner, I want you to click on that little picture of yourself or your avatar, and then you're gonna to go to YouTube Studio. Once YouTube Studio opens, on the left hand side, we're gonna to go to this little menu and we're gonna click on content. Now this will give you a list of all your videos. Next step is to find the video that you want, hover over it and you're gonna get these little buttons and you wanna click on the details button. This shows all the settings for that particular video. Now scroll down a little bit, go past the description and you're gonna see the thumbnail section in here. All we need to do is hover over the thumbnail. In the top right hand corner of that little thumbnail, you're gonna get this options button with three dots. Click on that, then click on download. What that's gonna do is that's gonna actually open up your thumbnail. So now you can right click anywhere on that screen and click on save image as. Type in a name for your image and click save. So that's the really simple process for downloading your own thumbnails, but how do we download other people's thumbnails? Well, I'm gonna show you now. Now, remember what I said earlier, don't be a douchebag. Don't just download other people's works and rip it off. Sure, you can download it, have a look at what they're doing, use it for inspiration. Because let's face it, sometimes these thumbnails are really small and you wanna look at the detail of them, but this is how you do it. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do this using my friend Pilar's channel. Now, if you've not seen Pilar Newman before, go and check her channel out, she's absolutely awesome. And she does some really good thumbnails. So this is how you download them. So let's use this one as an example, which she published recently. So we're gonna open the video up as if we're gonna watch it. And the reason we're gonna do that is because each video on YouTube has a unique reference. So if we look in the address bar, you've got the youtube.com forward slash watch question mark V equals. After the equals, this is unique to that video. And we need to take note of that. So highlight it, write it down, do whatever you want. I'm gonna highlight it, right click and copy. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna paste that into a notepad, just for a reference. Now next, we're gonna type in an address. Now don't worry if you don't catch all this because I'm gonna put this in the description so that you can just copy and paste it as well. So this is the address that you want to reference each time. Now, do you see where I've put these hashes? We're gonna replace them with the actual unique reference for that video. So let's just copy that again. Highlight them hashes to get rid of them and paste that in. So there we go. We've got image.youtube.com slash vi, your unique reference, and then maxresdefault.jpg. Now I'm gonna copy that. And I'm gonna paste that into the address bar at the top and press enter. So there you go. What that's done is that's looked at that video and it's picked out the thumbnail for it. So it's opened up and I can right click and do save image as, name the file, hit save. Pretty simple, eh? Now personally, I create all of my thumbnails in Canva. And if you'd like to learn how to create those fancy outlines that a lot of other YouTubers do, and as you can see, Pillar has on this one as well, then check out the video on screen now, which is a quick tutorial that works even on the free version of Canva. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll share everything that I learn with you in order to maximize your impact as a content creator. See you next time.